Hi, I'm Rick Dior, and today we're going to talk about practice sticks. So these are sticks that you wouldn't normally use in your everyday playing adventures, but that you use to practice. So there's sticks that are weighted, there's sticks that might have little gizmos on them that help you, and there's sticks that you could use to teach of your teachers. Uh, you could use to teach your students as far as grip position and things like that. So we'll start out with the first kind of practice stick, and this is a stick that I use for practicing quietly. And I love these. These are the old Promark Match Savage XB1s. So we'll show you this in the video camera here. And what they are is they have this rubber tip. And they're great for playing quietly. Of course, this is a pad here, but you will hear something. So they really dampen down that volume level. So that's a real practice stick because you can practice anywhere with it. And if you practice on a rubber pad, it's even softer. But the thing I like about these is you can use a, a pad with a real head, which is what I like. And then you're using this rubber. Now the rubber is artificial. It gives you an artificial bounce, a little more self-confidence than you might have. But um, again, it's effective for practicing. So that's the first kind of practice stick. The next kind of practice stick is a positioning stick. So these have um, been around for um, years and years and years. When, even when I was a kid, they were around, uh, which is, you know, the dark ages. <laughs> so uh, these are sticks that you use for positioning grip. And the most famous and notorious of them are the um, Simpson uh, Tomahawk sticks. And that's what these are. I have several pairs of these. And the whole idea of these is there's... Uh, obviously two sticks and one has more space than the other so this was geared towards the traditional grip if you played match you were pretty much out of luck because when they came in pairs they came as one had more space between and these rings here are adjustable so in other words you can move that ring down it's not easy into these bands and we'll show you a close-up of that Uh, most of the rings were blue. Mine just happened to be red on this pair. It's actually really rare. So if you see them for sale, and they made many of these, uh, you could probably find them on eBay or something, uh, they'll probably be blue. doesn't matter. It won't make you play better. So what you would do is you would take that ring, and based on the student's hands, you could move that ring an inch or so, and figure out the grip. So normally a traditional grip and even a match grip is about a third of the way up the stick. Just depends on the weight. So the way I do it is my middle finger would touch that ring. Now while that's very uncomfortable, and it is uncomfortable to have that thing there, you could move this all the way up and then you're at the bottom of it so you're not touching it. You're barely touching that ring. And that way the student knows that they can't go any further. Because one thing with young students, they're all over the stick. Even adult students, they're sliding all over the place. So these are kind of barriers. It's very useful, especially for beginners. And, and another thing we do is we get too far back on the stick for leverage. And that ring stops you there. So it's a very simple concept, but brilliant. Uh, and then the match grip stick, or the regular uh, grips. So that one, my middle finger right here, well, not the middle finger, but the uh, second finger, will touch the ring. That's the way I do it. With the pinky, depending, you know, it's in the middle of your pinky and that second finger. And if you go too far, you'll hit that. So again, they act like barriers. And actually, the sticks without the rings feel great. They're even pitched right, which uh, is good, because in the old days, you know, most of the sticks they made were not pitched uh, well. All right? So these are, these are terrific. I'll just read you this really funny little thing they used to come with. Um, You'll find this, and I'll post it on here so you can see it, but uh, first time in history, a right and left stick helps student help himself or herself 
stops creeping hands. Great for twirling. I have not figured that out yet. I'll try. A boon to the pro. I don't know about that. And the instructions use thumbs to move rings easily. They're not easy to move from groove to groove until they just touch the sides of hands when in proper playing position. Be sure the rings are positioned so as to comfortably limit the grip and not in any way interfere with it. So there you go. Very interesting stuff. So these are useful uh, to a point. The next kind of stick is the weighted stick. These are the ones I really believe in. My friend Gordy uh, Nudson sent me um, this pair of metal sticks a while back, which I like, but they're too skinny. So. So the problem with these, for me anyway, I'm sure they're great for other people, is I like my sticks to be thicker and to be the same diameter as my drum set stick, which is uh, between 5 eighths and 11 sixteenths. So. But these are heavy. They feel like they're around 90 grams. I haven't weighed them yet, but maybe even heavier, maybe 100 grams. So these are available from um, Gordy at gk-music.com. Uh, I'll put this information as an 800 number. I don't know if I should do that, <laughs> but I'll put the information in the description. So they're nice. And um, thank you, Gordy, for sending me these. All right. And uh, now we'll get to my sticks that I make for building hand technique and practicing weighted sticks. So uh, I have several different versions. I know you guys have seen these. So the advantage of these sticks is that they're the same uh, diameter as a normal concert stick or drum set stick if you play like a 5a they may be just a tiny bit thicker than a 5a and so what happens is your fulcrum your grip doesn't have to adjust to a different size stick which is important to me anyway and to my students so a stick that's 90 grams these are barrel tip coca bolo will give you a lot of weight in other words to build up your technique thing is you don't want to play real fast with them or anything because they're heavy and you know you'll blow a tire so you know or a gasket so. so I use them for building finger strength and uh, finger strength here and also for building my forearm strength, like that, and my thumb. And I've showed you all these exercises on my hand technique video, so we don't know, need to go over those again. Uh, I can reference those in the description as well. So uh, that's a 90 gram pair of sticks. Now, heavier, which I, I used to warm up, are heartwood sticks. So these are the same kind of sticks coca bolo but they're heartwood so they're a hundred grams pretty too you see that it's a dead giveaway when you start seeing the black that's the that's the heartwood the black in there so now these are reverse tips and the reverse tips give you lo a lot more weight up front so it's a training stick it's give it's teaching you how to bounce So those triple strokes are much easier because I'm basically just dropping the stick. I'm not using hardly any fingers. And, you know, if you play match grip, you want to work on your rolls, it's great for that. No effort. So the weight of these makes them really pleasant to play. But again, you don't want to play too long with them or too heavy, especially if you're not real strong in your forearms, because uh, they will hurt you. All right. But for building bounce, there's nothing that beats them. 
finally, the biggest tips will give you the most rebound. Uh, so these acorn, giant acorn tips here, you see these? Uh, they'll give you even more weight. But here we have a lighter stick. This is um, an 80 gram stick. So this is something that I will do general playing with. So it's more of a finger thing that you see there. So I use these sticks that are a little lighter to build up the fingers. All right. So the, there the weight really, really comes in handy for training. And then as a general stick, I just use uh, like 74 grams, which is a concert stick, which are these rosewood sticks. And then everything feels just so easy. So you warm up with the heavy sticks, you build technique at a slow tempo with the heavy sticks, and then everything becomes easy because it's a lighter weight, but same diameter. All right, so that's the way you want to do it. So any of these sticks are great uh, to have. They all serve a different purpose. And there's sticks that I use and I have sticks that I use when I teach. Uh, but definitely the weights are important for building strength. The more strength you have in your forearms, the more you'll be resilient to injury over a really, really long career like I've had right now at over 50 years. So. so I hope you enjoyed this and I hope this answers your questions because I know you've asked, you guys have asked me a lot of this stuff that came out of the health and wellness videos. What sticks should I use? This is how I do it. Uh, so we'll see you soon. Thanks.